Right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World! It's first. Fighting out of the blue corner! This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, the Cannon. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bring my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Nice. Caught that. No, there's danger in that, too. Because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. And you're in a lot of trouble. Real sneaky body kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbow to the side, because otherwise, he's going to land one, and it's going to shut everything down. Oh, big elbow. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching these things. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Right-left combo by Lee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Big knee lands to the body. Big body kick lands. Just a oh, huge right hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, big knee! He's a He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, nice right hand. 
Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All collar tie. And they separate. Nice sneaky head kick. Some nice back and forth action here. And he landed the right hand there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Single collar tie now. Lee's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Great punch landed with so much power. Trying to establish that jab once again. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he lands a huge right hand. Just misses with a left hook there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting... Wow! Oh, big left hook there. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's gotta grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, he's got his back now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Listen, you can do this now. You want you to go down and put your combination straight down the middle. I need more of that. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. But he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You ready? You ready? Let's go, Round guys. Two here. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Great punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh! oh he's, hurt bad. he's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about oh, he Lee gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Goodness, what a fight. 
Yeah, brutal elbow to stop his opponent right there in his tracks, and it really takes strong technique to deliver a shot like that to maximize force over a short distance. But man, when guys do it right with those elbows, it is absolutely devastating. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliata calls a stop to this contest at one minute, 17 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman, with this guy, you know that he has...